Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to find the general solution to the first order ordinary differential equation dy dx plus a y is equal to bx where a and b are some real numbers. First, let's find the corresponding integrating factor to this differential equation. Our integrating factor i will be equal to e to the power of the integral of the factor in front of our y term which is just a dx. And this here will be just e to the ax. Then let's multiply both sides of our equation by our integrating factor e to the ax. So we're going to get dy dx times e to the ax plus a times e to the ax times y is equal to b x times e to the ax. Then we notice that the left hand side of our equation would be written as the derivative with respect to x of y times e to the ax and this comes from the product rule since product rule tells us that this derivative would be the derivative of y times e to the ax plus the derivative of e to the ax times y and this here is equal to bx times e to the ax. Then let's integrate both sides of this equation with respect to x. So on the left hand side we'll be left with just y times e to the ax according to the fundamental theorem of calculus and on the right hand side to be able to integrate this equation we're going to use integration by parts. First let s be equal to bx and dt be equal to e to the ax dx. So that ds will be b times dx and t will be equal to 1 over a times e to the ax since the integral of e to the ax is 1 over a e to the ax. Then our right hand side which we could express as the indefinite integral of s dt is equal to, according to integration by parts, s times t minus the indefinite integral of t ds, which is equal to bx times 1 over a e to the ax, so b over a e to the ax times x minus the indefinite integral of 1 over a e to the ax times b dx, so b over a e to the ax dx. So our right hand side will be equal to b over a times e to the ax times x minus b over a squared, since the integral of e to the ax was 1 over a, e to the ax, plus some integration constant c. Then let's multiply both sides of the equation by e to the minus ax to get our y of x, and it's equal to, let's first take the c times e to the minus ax then plus b over a times x minus b over a squared and this here is our final result.